Hi folks, thanks for joining me and uh, we're talking about the truths of God in Christ Jesus. And this is particularly going to be quite a controversial uh, topic that we're going to be talking about now because um, it kind of flies in the face, particularly when it comes round to offering times, that is giving of money in church life, etc. And uh, we're talking now about freedom from the Mosaic Law. And if you go to my teaching series on what the cross accomplished, it will expand it more. Now, what do we mean in Christ freedom from the Mosaic Law? This is probably going to be a two part set because there's a fair bit to say on this and uh, you'll find it quite challenging. But go to Romans, please. Chapter 10, verse 4. Romans 10 verse 4 and I'm going to read this to you and uh, here it is in the scriptures Romans 10 4 and it says for Christ is the end of the Mosaic law is the end of the Mosaic law the limit at which it ceases to be i.e. Jesus has finished it it's the end of the Mosaic law and he says this for the law leads us to him so the law of Moses led to Jesus, it led to Jesus Christ. It didn't lead to the temple, it didn't lead to the teaching, it didn't lead to the uh, do's and don'ts, it led to Jesus. Here it is here, it leads to him who is the fulfillment of everything it represents. Very important point here, Romans chapter 10 verse 4, the fulfillment of everything it represents. Who is the fulfillment? For this was the purpose which it was designed. So the purpose of the Mosaic Law, the 613 commandments led to Jesus. We're going to talk about that, what that means, etc. It's very important because you are claiming the promises and nothing is happening. You're giving, should I say, of your 10% and nothing is happening and there's a reason why because God has promised to bless you has promised to increase you has promised to keep you in these very very uncertain times concerning what's coming what is now and what's coming next year and the year after that and the Lord is either going to be your provider or you are going to be at a loss and in anxiety states to think, well, where's God? What's happening? So we're talking about here it is. Christ is the end of the law. What the law was about was leading us to Jesus. And what we have to understand now we are in Christ. We have nothing to do whatsoever with the Mosaic law. Now, the Mosaic law is concerning what should I say, the covenant that God made with Israel. Now, even if you are a Jew, circumcised, born again, you have nothing to do any longer with the Mosaic law. Okay, some commandments say you shall not covet, you shall not kill, etc., etc. Of course, the law of Christ that's now in us moves us away and says, no, don't covet, don't kill, you're breaking the laws of the land. But new Christians and older Christians have always struggled with this, particularly when it comes to the tithe and the offerings. And great times of, of explanation are taken every single Sunday concerning the tithes, the offerings, God will bless you a hundredfold, sixtyfold, thirtyfold. And guess what? People keep giving, 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 but nothing seems to happen for them. Ever ask the question, why? Because then some people say, well, what's the point? I'm not giving to that. I'm not giving to this greedy guy. I'm not giving to something I don't believe in. Folks, it's not about the guy at the front who you may not like. It's not about the denomination you may not agree with. It's not about the vision and the fulfillment of the vision that you don't identify with. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. So if Christ is the end of the law, what is he the beginning of? Very interesting question, isn't it? If Jesus is the end of the law, what does that mean? Well, Paul clearly explains this very, very simply. And he says this, that everything of the law of Moses led right up to Jesus. Now, Jesus 
lived under the law of Moses, but he never ever offered any sacrifices for personal sins because he's the sinless son of God. He became a sinner, he became a curse, he became death when he hung upon the cross. But after his resurrection, he brought the Christian into a different covenant. So let's just say that you as a Christian are saying, well, I'm standing on the word, I'm pleading the blood, I'm declaring the promises, and they're all in the old covenant. Can you expect the Lord to honor you? Well, if Jesus is the end of the law and the end of that, that covenant with its promises, etc., you have your answer, don't you? So how is Christ, now that you are in Christ Jesus, how is the Lord going to provide for you and keep you and bless you? Because it's a new covenant, a new promise. It's the messianic covenant that's greater than the one of Moses. You see, the real issues, it's not about can God provide for you. The real issue is this, will you be obedient to the Lord? That's, that's basically the real issue, isn't it? So if Christ is the end of the law and he is, what about the tithe? What about the offering? You see, most Christians and most pastors and most churches are really struggling now in these financial uncertain times. They're going to struggle all the more. So they're saying, if you do this, God will do this, etc., basing everything on the Old Testament. But you are not under the Mosaic law. And Paul says here very clearly that if you decide to continue and conform to the Mosaic law, here it is, you have to live by everything. So ask yourself this question, if Jesus is the end of the Mosaic law, and he is, and you believe in the tithe and the offering and you're a preacher and you're preaching it because your budget demands that you have X amount of pounds come every single week. Are you going to Israel three times a year to stand in the three major feasts? Are you believing that what is also written in the other 613 commandments, are you applying those to your life? The answer is no, you're not. Because one, you are not a Jew under the Mosaic law, you're a born again believer who may be Jew or Gentile. So what is my point? Now you are in Christ Jesus, you have no responsibility whatsoever to live under the Mosaic commandments. You can't anyway, and it's fruitless because your righteousness is not based upon you obeying what Moses said. You can't anyway, it's obeying what Jesus has said. And you say, well, what about the 10%? Well, Israel were never commanded to give 10%. They were commanded to give 22% of their total income of the year, which was mainly cereal crop and animal. It was never cash other than the shekel. So you say, well, Mike, I'm totally confused. What am I supposed to do now as a Christian? Well, that's going to come in the continuing teachings of in Christ Jesus. Should I give? Absolutely. You should bless beyond what the scriptures say in Moses. You should be generous in everything you do, live and say. You should be completely committed to the heart of God and fulfilling his witness and testimony in your community. You should get behind the vision and the mission of the church where the Lord has planted you. But let me say this to you. Your blessings are not dependent upon how much you give. They are dependent upon what Christ has done for you. More of this stuff is coming in the continuing teaching on Christ is the end of the law and the truths of God in Christ Jesus. Hope you're getting this because uh, it's going to be very, very difficult ahead in the coming months and years because of what's happening all around us. And folks, this is nothing to do with the devil. It's all to do with the Lord Jesus because he is in control. God bless you.